Hello Orchid friends, welcome back to my channel. Wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day, staying healthy, and staying safe. Today in this video, we're going to look at my Phalaenopsis germain vincent. It's a primary hybrid. It's a cross between Violacea indigo and Speciosa. So this orchid is one of the two germain vincents in my collection. This one is the number one <laughs> and then the other one I will make another video another time to share with you its progress um, but that one was number two because it underwent quite a lot um, when I first purchased it um, I put it into semi-hydro it didn't adjust very well so it rotted a lot of roots I put it back into what well, I try water culture and then um, once it had enough roots I put it back into semi-hydro anyway back to this orchid this one I started to see new spike emerging at the end of January 2020 um, in addition to seeing signs of elongation of its older spike the spike that 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 um, that this orchid already had from the year before 2019 so you know we have two spike going on and the new flower spike um, produced way more buds faster than the old spike but the old spike eventually also produced a couple more buds um, as time went on but somehow the new spike was much more vigorous and much more quote-unquote eager to perform um, than the old spike for some reason and the new spike is also slightly thicker than the old spike as well so I suspect that that has to do with the um, fertilizer adjustment that I did well I increased the fertilizer a little bit um, for this orchid from um, you know for a couple months um, so I think that might have something to do with it so this or orchid overall um, I think did really well since last bloom cycle till now um, other than the fertilizer uh, adjustment I didn't really do anything different in fact the location where it sits in um, on my orchid rack is exactly the same um, and here you see I prop propped up one of the spikes the older spike I kind of used a wire to prop it up because there were two spikes were so close that the older spike was kind of interfering with all the all the buds and flowers on the new flower spike so I decided to give them a little bit of separation so that I can um, look at them better have better display but then also I don't want all flowers to be clumped together so in terms of care I gave I usually give this orchid quarter strength fertilizer but for a couple months in the winter time when I see more root growth I started to give this orchid a little bit more fertilizer not quite 50% but I would say almost 50% and then um, I reduced the water amount so sometimes I had to give this orchid a little bit more water um, during the week so I would even say twice a week was the the frequency that I get this orchid water but each time it was maybe be you know about one eighth of a cup or sometimes even half of that um, so that's really the only difference so it got more fertilizer um, in higher dosage and then slightly more water frequency but less amount of water and because of the parentage this primary hybrid germane vincent really has very interesting smell and I think that comes from Violacea because it does smell a little, you know, sweet, but, you know, has that spicy, pungent smell of a Violacea. But the color is interesting because it's not quite indigo, obviously. Um, it's really more on the red side, but you do see a little bit of, a little bit of purple tone to it. Um, but if you look closer, you can see the color actually isn't completely 
consistent. You can see a little bit of purple in between in the, toward the center of the flower. And if you put a back light behind the flower, you actually, it actually is even more evident that this orchid has a little bit of color variation going on even just within one flower itself. Um, so beginning of May 2020 was when these or this orchid have all its flowers open while it was still trying to mature I think one more bud on the older spike. But I can tell you this orchid continued to produce even more buds after I have you know finished taking all the photos for this video. So I'll try to find another time opportunity to make another video update to, to kind of you know give you a sense of how this orchid eventually um, did throughout its flowering cycle this time around. And here just a quick video clip to, to kind of show you in a different way to see so that we can, you know, see how this orchid was performing, was looking like um, at that time. And of course, you see this orchid has very good aerial roots. A lot of people ask me, you know, do I pl always plant aerial roots back into the container? I said yes and no. I mean yes and because eventually I will have to repot these orchids and when I do and if they have more area roots, I do plant them back in. But it's not like whenever there is area roots, I just, you know, go ahead and repot them. I mean if I don't need to, I don't want to disturb orchids and that's my, you know, rule of thumb. So yes and no, it just depends on when I feel this orchid needs, uh, orchids need repots and then I will use that opportunity to put, it back, put the area roots back in. And here is a bonus footage. Remember I talked about me having number one and number two. So what you're seeing, um, the bloom on the left right now is number two. And then the, the flower on the right is number one, what we're talking about today. But here are just some photos for you to take a sneak peek about number one and number two bloom and see if you can detect any difference between the two. And um, if you notice any difference, feel free to make comments in the video, below the video in the comment section, um, just to see if, you know, the differences that you detect um, are the differences that I'm referring to. Take a closer look. They are different, but where are they different? I'm not gonna tell you just yet. <laughs> now that both orchids have pretty established good root system with the growing method semi-hydro that they're currently in, I think they're really, really in autopilot pilot mode. They don't require any kind of special treatment. They're not finicky. They're really hardy orchids from my, you know, from my perspective, according to my opinion. And um, if you can ever get a hold of a, a Germain Vincent, you should, because I really think that it's a really rewarding orchid um, to grow. And if you're lucky, you might be able to find a Germain Vincent that is more like Speciosa give, and, and give you random um, color combination when they bloom. This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao.